Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chubber here and I hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to another brand new video where we're gonna be checking out some Reddit posts. Remember guys, if you do enjoy the video, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We gained like 70 subscribers yesterday and I feel like we're, we're gonna hit a thousand subs really soon and I'm super excited. So thank you guys for all the support on the channel and I'm gonna continue bringing you guys daily content. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Yeah, you guys know the game Destiny 2. So this guy went over to GameStop. He saw a copy of Destiny 2 trying to be sold for $5. Keep in mind, Destiny 2 has been free to play for over a year. So these guys are trying to sell a game that's 100% free for $5. That seems a little sketchy, but maybe, hey, maybe somebody just wants the physical copy for whatever reason. I mean, I sure wouldn't, but if anybody's looking for a physical copy of Destiny 2, just go to GameStop. This next picture basically sums up my dating life. Yeah, I've been looking for years and I still haven't found a girlfriend either. So at least I'm not alone. So hey, um, Grills, uh, hit me up. I'm six foot two, I weigh over 500 pounds, and I love burritos. Speaking of which, have you guys ever cut butter before? Well, this guy clearly hasn't because he cut it the wrong way. You're supposed to cut it, you're supposed to cut the edge of it so you can actually measure it properly, <laughs> bro. I mean, let's be real here, there's other ways to measure butter, but this is just kind of inefficient. At least he's not as weird as this guy. When the toilet paper runs out, instead of just changing it like a normal person, just, just throw it on top of the old one. Ah, screw it, dude. It's too much work to like change the toilet paper. Just take five seconds out of your day. Please have some compassion for your roommates or whoever you live with. Because there's nothing worse than toilet paper that is just sitting there. You basically have to touch it. Like if your hands are covered in some disgusting shit and you have to touch it, you're probably going to contaminate the roll. So yeah, so not the most optimal thing to do. Speaking of which, if you guys have ever taken public transportation, you know how much of a pain in the ass it is, and you know how expensive it can be depending on like what you're trying to do with it. Well, the people in this city basically decided to give a big middle finger to everybody over the age of 20. Are you a student 20 or older? Well, too bad. Transit fare discounts are available for full-time students age 19 or under. So if you just turned 20 yesterday, you're shit out of luck. Sorry, buddy. I mean, I know there's places you have to go, but like you got to pay full price because you, you're 20 years old instead of 19. Like what? Like, why does it matter? Like, I feel like all students should get this because they're students, because they're trying to better themselves. And, you know, obviously going to school is really expensive, regardless if you're 19 or 20. Like, come on, just give the students a break here. Okay, guys. And last but not least, have you guys ever went to go charge your phone? and the wire did this. Back in the day, I, when I had an iPod touch, this happened all the time and I had to keep buying new wires. And of course, I didn't wanna give Apple like $30 for a freaking USB cable. So I just bought cheap ones on Amazon and those did not last very long. I had a few of them that came defective. Apple wires are just, they're built to break. Like they just, they wanna make as much money as possible. It's just, it's a super greedy corporate thing. But regardless guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And all all these posts were from r slash mildly infuriating. I have more daily videos coming out every single day. So make sure to stay, stay subscribed and hit that like button. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So thanks for watching. It's Turbo and I'm out. Peace.